Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the stack bar chart with the line chart. So generally we have the option where you can create the bar chart with the line chart with the help of the combo chart. So if I go right click, go to new sheet object and click on the chart. I have this option where I have the combo chart but sometimes we face issue where when we need some sort of a stack uh, on our bar chart or a stack bar chart along with line chart. So in this video we will see how we can create or recreate this chart and before I move ahead quick information that if you want to keep receiving the new information about my new videos then please subscribe go ahead and subscribe to this video and subscribe to my channel and keep receiving the notification whenever I'm uploading any new video. Alright so let's quickly go back and see the chart in action so first of all let's create the combo chart so i'm right clicking on blank space going to the new chart clicking here on the combo chart going next selecting the value which is here add clicking next and i'm entering some of sales now this is basically our sales related data and Next, I am adding the expression which is profit. All right, so once I click it, I am just saying profit. Clicking finish. So, this is how our sales is coming, uh, the, the sales and profit is coming. Now, the first thing is that this profit ideally should come a little bit up to this. So, ideally, what we need is a gross profit here in this case. So, what I'm gonna do, I will click. Go to the properties here in the profit column what i will just do is plus column one so that's another way where we are saying that whatever expression is there here in the sales uh, which is a column one in the expression take that and add it over here so once i click okay my line goes up and showing little bit and making sense okay this is your sales and a little bit above to that that you have the profit all right, so first thing is done. The next thing is adding the stack bar chart with the help of these three categories, shipping mode, which is delivery, tr delivery truck or by express air or by regular air. So that is what the categories I have created. And for that, uh, what I can do is I can first of all, go into the properties, go to the dimension and go to the ship mode field, click add and click OK. But that is not what we were expecting and that's how generally you would uh, get whenever you are trying to create the stack bar chart which has the line chart property and uh, this is some similar sort of output that you are getting but this is something unreadable or uninterpretable for the end user. So what do we do now? Well in such cases what we can do is we can right click go to the properties and remove the ship more dimension. And with the help of the set expressions, we can create the stack bar chart by adding the different uh, set expression here in the uh, expression editor or expression box. So what I meant by that is, uh, so the first thing is we want by delivery truck, all right? So I'm adding a set expression by adding curly braces and angle brackets and saying ship mode ship mode is equals to and within curly braces within single quotation i'm saying delivery truck all right i will just copy this entire expression so that i don't have to write it again copy so and i'm adding in another expression and saying sum and sales and now uh, instead of delivery truck what I'm saying is express air, which was our second category. And I will close the bracket, copy the entire expression so that I don't even have to write some. Now the next thing is, I would like to show that you can even copy this and right click on the blank space, say paste, and say here, not express air, but regular air. So once you do that, you have the uh, three expression properly inbuilt. I will just move it a little bit down 
so all my these expressions which is related to the sales and shipping mode are up there and together so first of all it was by delivery truck so we will say delivery truck so that we can clearly identify it and then we are saying express air and then we are saying regular air and let's click ok and see the action all right so this is coming not as per the expectation so let's see what has happened going to the properties express air make it a bar remove the line regular air make it a bar remove the line click ok and then you are getting the uh, group bar chart but not the stack one so let's change the property by going into the style stack click ok all right so now you are pretty much there but your profit is not coming as expected uh, which is there in this chart above all of the sales that you have so what you can do going into the properties go to the expression and here column one i will just copy this entire thing column two and column three so column one column two column three and into the profit and it is a cross profit so that's how very easily you can go and create the stack bar chart by adding the side expressions and that's kind of a little bit tricky because uh, generally we try to add the dimension but that's how it doesn't it you know doesn't go with the chart type that you have but with the help of side expressions you can achieve the stack bar chart with the line chart so that's all for this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic